Since we're living in what the Bible calls the last days, we believe we should be able to identify trends out in the world that you'd expect from a literal futurist reading of the unfulfilled prophecies. And so we like to focus for a few minutes each week on Bible prophecy. We're trying very hard not to be sensational. There's too much of that. Uh, we don't see prophecy in every earthquake or everything that happens to the moon. Uh, we reference our comments with sources. And we also try to be careful to point out we're not claiming these trends are the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. They're simply things that seem to resonate with the Bible's yet to be fulfilled last day's prophecies. They are things you'd expect to be happening. In the yet future great tribulation, there is going to come a point at which the governments of the world and of the Antichrist in particular are able to control all buying and selling by consumers. It involves what is called a mark on the hand or forehead, most commonly referred to as the mark of the beast, the beast being a name for the Antichrist. Imagine how ridiculous all that sounded through the many centuries following John's vision of it in the Revelation, even up until very recently. Now hear how possible it is right now. I was sent this article from the San Diego Tribune titled, Bluetooth stickers on your clothing. San Diego startup gets 20 million for tracking tech. I'm gonna read some excerpts from the article. Giants in technology and consumer products are funneling more cash into a small tech startup in Rancho Bernardo that's developing tiny Bluetooth stickers that can transform everyday items into trackable connected devices. The startup called Williot just raised 20 million from PepsiCo and Verizon's venture capital arm, among several other investors. Last year, the company attracted the attention of tech giants Amazon and Samsung, which have also backed Williot. With the new cash, the startup's executives say they're ramping up to mass produce their tiny Bluetooth stickers, and they have been having customers line up at the door. The company already has orders for hundreds of thousands of units. Since its inception in 2017, the startup has been designing a Bluetooth chip that would be small enough to stick on anything and cheap enough to treat as a disposable product. Their chip is the size of a postage stamp, has no batteries, it's powered instead by leftover radio signals cascading through the air. Uh, and so right now it's just a tracking device to put on merchandise. Uh, why they want to track your Levi's, I don't know. Uh, but uh, you, know, you know how when you leave uh, the store, I almost said Mervyn's, how old am I? Because <laughs> that happened to me at Mervyn's once. I used to have them stuck uh, in way in the back pocket. Where you, and, and, and so you walk out of Mervyn's and the next thing you know, you're beeping and a big Mervyn's security guy's on you. But anyway, uh, why they want to do that, I don't know. But obviously they could adapt it to do anything they want. We've talked before about wearable tattoos and other kinds of technology. No one's suggesting that this is the mark of the beast. But there's going to be some kind of technology like this or in combination with things like this that certainly make you read that prophecy and think that it's at least possible and not some allegory or some science fiction. Jesus promised he'd return to rapture his church. That entails the resurrection of the dead in Christ first and then the snatching away of all living believers. We call that whole event the rapture. That's going to happen before any part of the Great Tribulation. And in fact, it could happen at any moment. It's presented in the Bible as imminent. So each week I ask you the same question. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming. Music